Hi, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you just a little design that I paint on one of my hangers. It's my Shabby Chic Ivory Crackle Hanger. And I'm going to paint basically a, a, a rose and then some buds to go along with it. This is a very popular hanger that I sell in my shop. Sell lots of these. Now this particular one the person just wants the, the design on the hanger. They don't want to add any kind of uh, personalized wire to it, which is fine. You know, that makes, still makes a nice hanger to hang your bridal hanger or your bridal dress on. And again, with my painting style, I kind of use a combination of one stroke and my own. And I think a lot of painters will find that as they paint throughout the years, they tend to do the same thing. This particular rose is a combination of berry wine and wicker white. I really like the combination of the two colors together. I think it makes a, a nice contrast and a very pretty flower. And then I'm also going to add just a few little buds that will go down the arm just part way. They don't want them, do not want the design clear down the hanger, which is fine. This is probably one of the more popular designs that I sell in my shop. And again, there's a combination of people who want it with the personalized wire and then people who don't. It's just really a, a matter of what your preference is. And price range. You know, I like to offer a variety of price ranges in my shop just so there's a little bit of something for everyone and if you have a tight budget you can still have a pretty a pretty hanger for your dress. And that's what it's all about. Just you know to make a special day for you. And whether or not you have, you know, the budget that somebody else has, doesn't matter. You can still have, can still have something pretty, a nice little keepsake for you. And like I said, it's just a quick, simple little rose. And then I'll go down the, the arm of the rose just part way or the hanger, excuse me, just part way with a few little buds. Just quick and simple. I wanted to <clears throat> get this done so I can ship it out tomorrow to the bride. She's getting married next weekend. So that's kind of a situation where it needs to be rushed a little bit. And I like to use faux art enamels. I know they're primarily made for gloss painting, but I honestly use the enamels on just about anything I paint on. And then the combination next for the actual uh, greenery is going to be what I would say, I have to mix mine right now because I don't actually have thicket, but I like thicket and the forest moss combination. I used to use white, the thicket with the white, or with the sunflower yellow. Just It really just depends on what your preference is. Again, with this type of thing, you can you know, use whatever colors you want. That's up to you, what you like. I just happen to like this combination the best as far as the leaf colors go. And I'm just going to put some quick quick leaves on here. And the one thing nice about this is if you <clears throat> want to go back over it, you don't like how it looks, you know, just go back over, smooth out the paint, come back through it. I keep sticking my brush in the leftover berry wine paint. 
That's awesome. But that's okay too. Add some interest to your, your petals. And I actually have painted glassware to go with this too at times. It's just a very, just a very pretty pattern. Kind of dainty, shabby chicish. A lot of times too, when I'm painting these, I'll allow it to dry a little bit more. But since I'm doing the video. I'm not going to allow for that right now, just so we can keep going with the video. Like I said, it's okay for some of the colors to intermix. Kind of gives it some interest. And then basically what I'll do is just add some quick little petals. You can add as many petals as you want or as few. You know, I have customers that some like a lot of petals and some are, you know, just can you do it without as many leaves? You know, can you do it this way or can you add, you know, I really want it down further. So it's like whatever you, whatever you want. You know, whatever you want, it's up to you. It's your, your project. And that's what I really like about painting and painting on your own. I'm not a big one for, well, you got to do it this way or it just isn't right. Who says? Who cares? You know, do it the way you want to do it. If you like it, isn't that really what it's all about? And I think it is. I just like to add some random little leaves, too, to it. Give it some interest. So then you have the one side done, and basically I just go back, repeat it on the other side, and it doesn't have to be identical. You know, a lot of times we'll place the leaves kind of in different places, or you can, you know, leave more space if you would like to have some space in between your flower and the leaves, you can do that too. Whoops, sorry about that. And I'm sure there's other paint that you'd prefer to paint with. Any of that will do, whatever your favorite is. I think we all have a tendency to have our favorite paints. And it's just a matter of, even when you're glass painting, because I do a lot of glass painting, again, there's a lot of products out there. There's some that work for better for certain, certain types of projects that you're doing. And I just happen to really like the, the folk art enamels. They've always been my favorite. And like I said, I don't just use them on glass. I use them on a, a lot of different uh, you know, walls. I've painted walls with them when I've done murals. They're just a nice, and even if you have to paint over it, you know, you're, you're tired of the design you've painted on, they're easy to, to paint over. So that's really not a, a worry either that, you know, oh, they're going to be, it's going to be hard to cover up. It's really not. Not at all. Okay, so we have that going on there. And then I'm just going to again come back over, add some more of the little stroke leaves. Just push your brush, raise it up. Push your brush, raise it up. And that's one thing nice too. If you want it a little bit more opaque, just go back over it. You don't have to uh, leave it just with the one, the one stroke that you've done. Just go back over it and make it a little bit darker if you want. It's really up to you. All right, and there you have it. So it doesn't take very long. 
you know, obviously if you're going to crackle your hanger, you need to crackle it because that does take a few steps to get that done. Let it dry well before you actually go on with painting the design over the top of it. And you have to be careful too how much you work the paint on top of that because a lot of times the crackle paint will come up. And so you do have to be careful with that as well. But again, it's you know pretty hanger, hang your dress on. No need for personalized wire if you don't want personalized wire. And it's of course cheaper to buy it this way. It's a $19.99 as opposed to $29.99. So it does save a considerable amount of money. And uh, that's it for right now. I appreciate you stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate comments. And again, I appreciate you taking time to see my video. Have a good day.